Howdy folks, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with the Mighty Jingles, where we're continuing the grind to unlock the engineer Marco Gwent, who needs 25 units of modular terminals, the kind of thing that are only available as a mission reward like this one here. Support famine relief by delivering nearly 6,000 units of... Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? You see, these missions don't pop up very often. And when they do, they often have completely ridiculous requirements like this. Although it's true that since the introduction of fleet carriers, some fleet carrier captains are actually trading in modular terminals. But I did all of this before the introduction of fleet carriers. So what I need, ideally, is somewhere where I have access to a lot of missions that I can cycle quickly to increase the chances of a modular terminal mission popping up. And it just so happens that while I was doing my Imperial rank grind to the rank of Duke to unlock the Imperial Cutter, I found just the place, down here in these two systems, Magallan and Mainani. And I'm already allied with all of the various different local factions, so I should have access to every single mission that they offer. And there's a lot of missions on offer down here, and they cycle very, very quickly because of the speed at which you can move between the two systems involved. Which is why I once again find myself back at the Hickam Survey outpost in the Magallan system, checking the mission board. And remember, the biggest orbitals in these two systems are just outposts, so they can't handle anything bigger than a medium-class ship. And as luck would have it, as soon as I arrive, there is a mission that offers more than half of the modular terminals that I'm going to need as a reward. It's a Spec Ops contract. What's this all about? Well, the mission details are a bit vague. They'll tell me exactly what it is they want me to do when I get to the main army system. The only thing I know for sure is that whatever they want me to do, it's going to involve killing people and it's not going to be legal. Still, 18 of the 25 modular terminals that I need just for this one mission? Whatever it is, it's got to be worth the risk, surely. So, I'm in the main army system and I'm checking my messages, of which there are many. The specific mission details, and there they are. They want me to kill two traders, not pirates, not people who are wanted with bounties on their heads, just a couple of traders. Huh. Okay, it's not just any two traders, there are two specific traders who've taken on a contract to deliver something that they shouldn't, so, you know, fine. And while I was scanning the system for my mission target, that's when I spotted the message saying, Found the ship, tracking it now, it's not getting away. Some guy in an anaconda? Oh shit, yeah, they need me. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't know why I just popped the heatsink. Um, panic? <laughs> but I'm, I'm in an Asp Explorer and I'm being interdicted by somebody in anaconda. Um, they've probably got bigger guns than me. I'm not having any of this. No thank you. Right, interdiction avoided. But I still need to scan the system with a filtered spectral scanner to... What? Serious? There's two of them. The anaconda isn't alone. Oh my god. Right. No, this is fine. This is fine. I'm becoming quite experienced at avoiding interdiction at this point. Once I've shaken the tail, however, I still need to locate the mission target. And to locate the mission target, I have to go into filtered spectral scan mode, and for that I have to throttle all the way down. Which makes me a sitting duck for any future interdiction attempts, so this is going to be tricky. But I don't have to spend forever doing a system scan. I mean, I've already plotted this system anyway, this isn't the first time I've been here. All I'm really looking for are transient signal sources, and one in particular. And I'll know it's different from the other transient signal sources because it'll have an orange highlight. Like that one. There it is, mission target. And while I was on the way to that mission target, would you believe I got interdicted again? Only this time, I think it was just a random pirate. God damn it. You know what? I'm going to take this one, because there are other engineers that I'm going to 
have to unlock who are going to require that I have a higher combat rating, and I'm not going to get a higher combat rating by avoiding fights. So, yeah, it is just a random pirate. Who is this guy? He's in an adder. I can take an adder. That's no problem. I'm going to target his frame shift drive so he can't jump out. Now, I do realise that because I've got nothing in my cargo hold, this guy's just going to leave me be, and he won't fight unless I fight him. I also realise that I really haven't set my fire groups up properly. I shouldn't have the beam lasers assigned to the same fire group as my multi-cannons. They should be separate. But his shields are almost completely gone already. And, of course, none of my weapons are engineered because I haven't unlocked an engineer who can actually modify or upgrade my weapons, so the beam lasers are generating way too much heat. All of my weapons are also drawing quite a bit more power than they should, but it's good enough to take this adder down. I mean, his shields are gone. His, hang on. Who's that shooting at me? Where'd that other ship come from? Holy shit, what's going on with my shields? My hull's taking damage. What is going on here? Screw that. Power to engines. Let's get the hell out of here. Incoming missiles? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Three contacts. There's another... My chaps malfunctioned. The next missile that hits me is going to do some serious damage. I've got no shields, and I can't decoy it with chaff. Is that the anaconda? I think that's the anaconda. You know what? I'm not sticking around to find out. Let's just check the contacts panel. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> and it's got a friend with him as well. Let's not forget. I was being attacked by three contacts just a minute ago. Yes. I need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I could take the adder. Well, I could take the adder. I very nearly had taken the adder until this anaconda and whatever else he's flying with showed up. The best part is, I'm pretty sure that they're not even related to this Spec Ops mission. I've also taken a bunch of other courier missions. Oh, look at the state of my systems. I need to land somewhere for repairs. But yeah, I've taken a bunch of other courier missions to this system, and I'm pretty sure that the Anaconda and his friend have been assigned to prevent me from completing one of those courier missions. They've got nothing whatsoever to do with the Spec Ops mission that I'm flying. So that's a bit of a bummer. Anyway. I've shaken my pursuers, at least for now. It's time to close in on this mission target, get the job done, and then get the hell out of here. Admittedly, my ship is well beaten up here. Hull's down to 40%, but I'm attacking traders. They're probably going to be in Type 6 transporters. And my employers have ensured that there will be no federal security response. So, I only have to worry about these transports. There are four of them. I have to kill two. Unfortunately, a quick scan has revealed that none of these guys have criminal records, so this is not going to make me popular with law enforcement. My employers have scrambled the local system link in this area, which means I don't have to worry about any immediate armed police response, but that doesn't mean my crimes aren't being reported. What is that? What's that that just jumped in? That looks like a third lance. Why has a third lance just jumped in? Why is he shooting at me? And what's that that just jumped in? Oh my, that's the anaconda, isn't it? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'm not fighting a further lance and an anaconda. I mean, either of them have to be completely outclassed. But I'm not fighting both. I, I need to get... It's them again, isn't it? It's the anaconda and his wingman in the further lance. Shit. Okay. This is not good. It's going to be next to impossible to complete this mission with those two on my ass. And of course, because I opened fire on an unarmed trader, an unarmed trader with a clean record, I am now a wanted man in this system. Shit. Now I can't even dock at a station in this system to get repairs, because I'm wanted. If local security doesn't shoot me down the second they scan me, even if I manage to get past that and dock with the station, It'll be anonymous access, and most of the station facilities will be closed off to me until I sort out this fine and clear the bounty. 
So realistically speaking, I'm going to need to jump elsewhere to get that done and find a station that has an interstellar factor. You see, normally you can only pay off a bounty in the system in which the crime was committed. But obviously, you know, that can be kind of difficult because you're wanted in the system in which the crime was committed. But if you find a station that has an interstellar factor, you can pay off fines and bounties galaxy-wide. However, you see, there's a but. Because the system used to be wide open to abuse. You could fly around doing whatever you wanted to whoever you wanted, whenever you wanted, and then if the heat got too much, if your victims were coming after you, you could just pay an interstellar factor to have the charges dropped. Shit, he's after me again. <laughs> um, I mean, if you know, if you pissed off another player and they were determined to get their revenge, they were going to do it anyway. But by clearing your record, you were kind of adding insult to injury. I mean, yeah, they might catch you and yeah, they might kill you. But they wouldn't be able to claim a bounty because you'd cleared the bounty and they would then be wanted in the system in which they killed you because they just attacked and killed somebody who had a clean record. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking this one. I'm going to avoid this interdiction. So, anyway, Elite introduced the notoriety system. And it's fairly simple. Basically, if you conduct illegal actions, you gain notoriety. And notoriety doesn't last long, like 20 minutes, an hour, half an hour, depending on the level of notoriety that you've achieved. But what it means is that while you do have a notoriety level, you can't pay off an interstellar factor to have your crimes dismissed. You have to sort it out in the system in which the crimes were committed, which gives whoever you've upset a fighting chance at least to find you and make you pay for your crimes the old-fashioned way. So, as you can see, I've arrived at Nice van der Rohe's claim, which is the only outpost in this system. I'm wanted, and I'm only allowed anonymous docking access, which is going to severely restrict the services that I can enjoy at this station. Now, I would be getting shot at right now if this outpost actually had a security patrol up. But outposts, unlike proper orbitals, Coriolis stations, Orbis stations, they don't have a 24-hour patrol active. So it's relatively easy to slip in without getting shot at. And we've made it. Right, so, what services exactly are going to be available to me? Let's take a look. Yep, I can refuel, but I can't repair and I can't rearm. So, let's go to contacts. I could go to the authority contact panel, but my notoriety is worn off, so I can actually use the interstellar factor to pay off my fines and bounties. So, I've cleared my name in this system. It's all good. I never actually killed anybody. Didn't, not through lack of trying. <laughs> but I never had the time. So rather than a murder charge, it was just an assault charge against that Type 6 transporter. So my notoriety didn't last particularly long. Right, okay. So I now have full access to the station's facilities. Um, I had a couple of missions to hand in here anyway, so we'll go ahead and sort those out. But given what I have arrayed against me, if I'm going to stand a fighting chance of actually completing this Spec Ops contract and getting those modular terminals, I'm going to need something with a bit more punch than an Asp Explorer. And I have exactly the right ship for the job, I hope. But it's docked at my home base, the Jameson Memorial Orbital Starport in the Shinrata Desra system. Now, I could fly all the way back to Shinrata Desra swap out for my Python, and then fly all the way back here. Or, I could just fly to the nearest system that has a station with a shipyard, and pay for somebody to fly my Python to me. And that's why I'm currently in the HIP-11241 system, landing at the Esposito City Orbital Station. Once we've landed, we go to the shipyard, we hit the Ship Transfer tab up there in the top right corner, shows you the list of all the ships that I own and where they are, how long it's going to take them to get here, and how much it's going to cost. So, about an hour later, in which time I just went and did other things around the house, I find myself at the helm of my Python, closing in on that mission target, and hoping 
that our friend in the Third Alliance and his friend in the Anaconda aren't going to gatecrash this party because they were assigned to prevent me from conducting one of the courier missions in this system which I've already completed and handed in. So far so good. I do hate to be interrupted when I'm committing piracy and murder. <laughs> You'll also note that I've actually set my fire groups up properly this time, with the beam lasers on a separate trigger group from the multi-cannons. Of course, these are completely unengineered weapons. I'm still at the beginning of this process, so the beam lasers are still drawing way too much power and they're still generating way too much heat. But my systems are more than good enough for dealing with a bunch of unarmed and practically defenseless Type 6 transporters. Especially since we're not being interrupted by anybody in a Ferdinand or an Anaconda. Of course, my crimes are a lot more serious now. We've gone way beyond just assault and into actual murder. But hey, they knew the risks when they took this job on. If I take a mission to transport something naughty from one place to another, the mission warns me hostile ships may be sent against you. That's the risk you take. So, mission complete. Time to take my Python back to Hickam Survey in the Nagallan system. Get this thing landed, handed the mission, and claim my modular terminals. Wait a minute. What did I click on? I should have modular terminals in my inventory. Did I pick the reputation reward? in a system where I already have allied status with every available faction, and not the modular terminals that I need to unlock Marco Quent. Oh my fucking... Seriously? Right, that's it. Bollocks to this. Fuck this game. Fuck, fuck, fuck everything. Fuck you. Fuck you as well. Fuck all of that. And I'll fuck this. Join us again in the next episode, where I attempt to unfuck myself from the situation that I just got myself into. Hope you enjoyed today's video, folks. I hope you're all having a good weekend. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.